Hi, Joe Mitchell, ActivateYourGreatness.com. And this is procrastination month. But I really feel like procrastination is not what we need to be talking about right now. We need to be talking about something else. This has been one of the hardest weeks for a lot of people where there's been a lot of experience of sadness, anger, hopelessness, all kinds of really deep emotions. And those emotions have stirred protests even in the midst of coronavirus. We're having a real reaction to some real offensive conduct and some real problems in our society. And I wanted to just talk a little bit tonight about how we might deal with that. Because there are there are ways that we can deal with that. To some real offensive this is uh, I'm not sure exactly how to how this whole thing is happening here. But I wanted to, hopefully, this is live, and you can see me. Bill Bill or Islam, if you can hear me, could you just type something in the text, in the the chat? Because I don't, I'm not sure what's going on right now. So I think I'm live, but I'm not sure. go back here. Um, Am I live or am I Memorex? That's the question. This is really kind of crazy. Okay. Well, hi, you okay, so you can hear me. Well, that's good. Okay. So you know what I'm what I'm wanting to do. This is going to be a really short presentation. I was going to go on at eight, but I have something else that's got to got to happen. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay, I have I have fallen in love with a very very powerful technique called tapping, which I'm coming out with a book very very soon about it. But but I want to share it with you tonight in the context of the Floyd the Floyd matter because this is something that's tearing us apart. It's really tearing us apart. And I want to see if there's something that we can do to shift that. So, and this is gonna be very simple and as I said, very short. And it's not going to be logical, it's not going to be intellectual. And in fact, it might even be a little counterintuitive. So. Just bear with me for a little while and just try it and see what happens, okay? The thing that's great about tapping is that tapping releases negative emotions through experiencing negative emotions. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring up some negative emotions and experience them and release them. And then we're going to focus on some positive emotions. And I think that what you'll find is that this is going to be very, very powerful. So let's let's do it. Okay. So here's so here's how we do it. Okay. So we start. I'm going to just show you the points here. This is going to be our first point, and this is going to be our second point underneath. There's a bone right around the eyes. Second point. Third point is going to be right here. The eyebrows. The two eyebrows. And you're going to tap them with one hand like this. I'm a lefty, so you can tap with the right hand. Okay, and I like to tap down here at the collarbone, like right below the collarbone while I'm doing that. And then down here under the nose and under the lip. Not on the chin itself, but like in that little ridge between the chin and the lip. And then right down here, right below the collarbone. Okay underneath the arm here, top of the head. And
and then when we finish the top of the head, what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands on the top of the head. Take a deep breath. <sighs> exhale. Okay. So that's the that's the standard routine. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this now. Okay. Are you guys ready for some for, for some action here? Because this is going to be a little action now. Okay. So here we here we go. Okay. We're going to start tapping. And we're going to tap on certain words. Okay, this is going to be very simple. Okay, the first word that we're going to tap on is white supremacy. So first of all, I want you to close your eyes and say the word white supremacy. Say it one more time, white supremacy. And then open your eyes. Okay, and then we're going to start to tap. Okay. White supremacy. I don't like it. And you can repeat after me. I don't like it, but it's real. White supremacy. Just saying it is hard. White supremacy. Ah, uh, when I feel white supremacy, it, it's very hard for me. White supremacy. There shouldn't be any white supremacy. White supremacy. It's not what I stand for. White supremacy. Oh, it's horrible. The arm, white supremacy. It's a difficult word for me to say. Top of the head, white supremacy. Oh, why do we have white supremacy in this world? White supremacy. Hold your hands here. Take a deep breath. Exhale. It's really important that you tap along with me. Don't just watch this. You must tap along with me because it's so critical that you release the, these feelings. I'm not just saying these words so that, you know, to get people riled up. I'm saying these words to help people release, help people learn. I want to teach people that you can release your, your, your deepest, like, aggressive feelings, offensive feelings. You can release them and come to a place of peace. The next word that we're going to go with is racism. Not quite as strong for me as, as white supremacy. Close your eyes, racism. Feel that word inside, racism. And let's open your eyes and let's start tapping. Racism. I don't believe in it. I don't like it. I hate it under the eyes racism i don't i stand for everything but racism racism it's real in this country racism oh george floyd racism racism it's so hard for me to get that we are so racist in this country racism that racism all over. Racism. It's, it's a hard one for me. Racism. I don't stand for racism. I stand for something else. But racism is real. Hands on the head. Take a deep breath. Okay, one more. This is an easier one. Close your eyes. <laughs> Police brutality. Police brutality. Police brutality. Open your eyes. Police brutality. That's what happened with George Floyd. Police brutality. It's all over black neighborhoods. Police brutality. 
so hard to watch it. Police brutality. I wish it wasn't here. Police brutality. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Police brutality. Oh, I don't want to think about that. I don't, I'm just, it just makes me so mad when I think about police brutality. It gets me so angry when I think about police brutality and I think about George Floyd and his, and the way they strangled him. Police brutality. I hate it. Hands on the head. Taking a deep breath. <sighs> Exhale. Wow. You've done some good work now. Now we're going to focus. Now, I would say that what you want to do, that's not enough, really, okay? Because this is deep-seated stuff, okay? So, you know, you can repeat that again and again and again. You can watch this again. You can repeat it yourself. You get the idea, okay? The idea is to tap while you're feeling these feelings about this negative, horrible stuff that we are being forced to experience and being forced to hear about and, and that we're 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 almost a part of because we're here. So now what we want to do is now, once we, once we get the, the, the level of our resistance and the level of our, uh, our reactivity down, and I can't say that we've totally done that yet, but we've done it enough for, for tonight, okay? As I said, go back and practice. This is what it's all about. It's about practicing. It's, this is a way to bring like heart to this whole situation. That's what I'm committed to. I'm committed to bringing my heart to this situation. It's not just about being outraged and we're gonna protest. Uh, it, to me, that's too. there's too much like anger and, and, and that energy is not the energy that I want to be about. So let's talk about what energies I want to be about. And you can you can tap along with me as well. Hopefully, these are energies that you can relate to as well. The first one is deep compassion. I'm committed to deep compassion. Deep compassion. I have a compassionate heart. I can feel compassion as I think of all of these problems that we have, these societal problems. I can feel compassion. It's not easy for anybody. I have compassion. I have compassion for all my brothers and sisters, white, black, yellow, have deep compassion. I am a compassionate person. Taking a deep breath. <sighs> Beautiful. The next word, racial equality. I'm for racial equality. Racial equality is the way it was intended to be. I'm committed to racial equality. I'm here to love all beings regardless of their color. Racial equality. I'm committed to racial equality. Racial equality, what I want to see on this planet. Racial equality. We need more racial equality. Everyone equal. Everyone equal in the eyes of the Lord. Take a deep breath and exhale. And one more word and then we're done. And that
that is universal love. Universal love is what we want to have on this planet. Universal love is what I want to feel in my heart. Universal love for every human being. I forgive them. And I project universal love to every being. Universal love, what I'm committed to. Universal love trumps racial inequality. Universal love. It's what we're here for. Taking a deep breath and exhale. And just notice how you feel. I want to really thank you for being with me tonight or whatever time you're watching this. And I hope that this gives you a tool, a way to practice getting out of the funk and getting into the space that you really want to be in as you deal with this. I want to thank you for wanting to get out of that funk. I want to thank you for caring about this situation and caring about humanity. Have a great night. I'm so glad that you joined me and we will continue to generate universal love, to generate the highest vibrations that we can because we care. Thank you.